Hello, welcome to video number five. In this one we look at the uh, technical director video number 34, gradient shader part four. Here he has the result of the fix that I made. I had a problem. The composite node just didn't work for me. Uh, here I have one composite node from Houdini and this is the result I get. get this sort of weird white egg shapes. I never figured out what was wrong. It might be a bug. But the first composite node I put in, it seemed okay. Then each composite node after that, it got worse and worse to the point where it was completely unusable like this. And the fix was that I created a custom composite node in place of the built-in composite node. And the result of that was this good result here. So I'll just go ahead and uh, show you what I did to create that. Uh, first I'll just uh, do the replacement of the lighting node with the model shader. So I'll do the tab shader uh, surface model. I just get that name mixed up for some reason. And we'll replace that. And just like in all the others. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now I go ahead and create this asset pretty much from scratch. And we walk over to the word processor. That's out of the way. And this is the basic formula that you'd find for composite A over B. The result is a mat multiplied by the foreground and then one minus the mat multiplied by the background image and then I change that to B color is alpha times A one minus alpha times B and the final formula I just replaced all the variables so it matched what was in the composite node inside of Houdini and I'll name all the connectors to match so back inside Houdini, I'll start building that formula. And I'll start with a constant. I'll name it to one. And give it a value of one as a float. And I want to subtract it. There's one. Now we can move these down closer to where they'd be useful. And this is going to be, rename this to, this subtract to uh, one minus alpha. Yeah, just give it a, that weird name. And I'm going to be replacing this final composite node here. So I'll take the alpha and hook it up here. And then I want to multiply that by the B image. So tab, multiply. And the thing is, I want to put the image in first. This is where the B is coming from. So the image and then the one minus alpha. You multiply by B. And we wanted another multiply. This time we take it from the color first, because we wanted the result to be a color from the multiply. 
and multiply by the alpha and this is multiply a by alpha and then we want to add those together so tab add Grab these two, move those over, and this is going to plug into the diffuse color. Okay, let's do a test render, see if that's working. And it looks good. Okay. I'm going to create constants from these inputs. I really don't know if this is the correct procedure for doing this, but this is what worked for me. So, there's one I'm going to middle click, constant. I'm going to name it to A alpha. And I'll name that the same. And I'm making these so they uh, match up with the composite node names. Now place the alpha on this connector here. Now we name this one to A, or middle click, constant. We name the constant to A, and the name also to A. And move that over here. And now I just need the B. So I'm going to click here, constant, and again I'll name that to B and B. Okay, I'm going to move the one over, select all the nodes that make up the A over B composite. Yeah, Shift C to create a subnet. I'll name that subnet to comp A over B. And I'm gonna jump inside so I can rename the sum. on this node. Just have to click on this. And I can call that CLR. I'm going to press U to go up. Now all the names match with the composite node. I can right click, create a digital asset. Rename it and save it with the rest of my assets, OTLs. Call it uh, comp A over B, OTL. Oops. And accept that. Okay. And just accept it. And there, now I have the digital asset. 
has the same input connectors as the composite node. And put a one more render, make sure it works. And it doesn't work. Oh. Well, it makes sense that it doesn't work. It's still hooked up to these uh, constants. Let's bring that on down and reconnect everything that needs to be connected. This is V. Alpha goes to A, alpha. And color here goes to A. Now I do a test render. And there we go, we're back in business. And like I said before, I don't know if this if I'm doing something wrong with the composite node or if it's a bug inside of Houdini, but I had to create my own composite A over B node to make the thing work. And yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show in this video. There's just one video to go and it'll be done with uh, everything I needed to complete the uh, technical director series. I'll see you in the next video.